good morning everybody welcome to our science class <coughs> the previous class we uh, completed the natural fibers in natural fibers so cotton and jute we completed again some other natural fibers are there other fibers first one is wool page number 30 all of you take okay wool wool is another natural fiber obtained from the hair of animals like sheep camel and goat uh, from uh, sheep camel and uh, goat now we getting this wool Remo removing the wool from sheep is called uh, shearing what is called shearing removing the wool from the sheep is called shearing all of you underline it okay what is shearing after shearing the wool is cleaned and washed after uh, removing this after shearing wool will uh, clean and wash the cleaned wool is spun into fiber this fiber is then worn or knitted to make woolen clothes with these fibers now we make a uh, woolen clothes and woolen clothes uh, retain body heat that is why they are used in winter mm? woolen clothes uh, will give heat to our body that's why it is generally using in winter season next one silk we get silk from silk worm picture is there okay silk worm silk fibers is obtained from the uh, cocoons of the uh, silk moth hmm? a silk moth no this cocoon will make no oh, this uh, uh, that from this uh, cocoons only uh, getting the silk the silk moth leaves in the leaves of mulberry plants generally this uh, uh, silk worms uh, food is mulberry plants leaves okay in mulberry plants only silk worm will leave uh, and uh, it will eat this mulberry plants leaves and uh, it will grow and it will make cocoon and uh, uh, stay there then uh, after uh, when it uh, go out from the cocoon that cocoon will take and uh, from there silk will get the silk worm uh, secrets and uh, unbroken fiber uh, cocoon around itself this uh, cocoon is built and uh, un want to form the fiber in this uh, cocoon now from this cocoon very long uh, fibrous will get uh, the fiber is uh, thin spun to uh, form a silk yarn it is very thin and spun to make silk yarn the rearing of silk worms of the uh, production of silk is called a sericulture hmm? that means the rearing of silk the rearing of silk worms for the production of silk is called a sericulture all of you underline it okay what is sericulture sericulture means rearing of silk worms for the production of silk is called a uh, sericulture Silk is a costly fabric. It is soft, shiny and smooth to touch. It is the strongest natural fiber. It can be dyed easily. Silk fiber is used for uh, weaving uh, clothes, especially traditional dresses in India like uh, sari, kurta, uh, shawl and other wedding clothes. Silk had always been prized for its uh, uh, lustre and uh, fine quality and the silk fibers silk clothes are very costly and very smoothy and uh, shining also traditional dress like a sari kurta and uh, shawl and all making uh, next one coir coir is a source of uh, fiber obtained from the uh, fibrous outer covering of the fruit of coconut it is a waterproof fiber that is used to make robes mats doormats brushes and uh, uh, stuffing of uh, mattress and pillows hmm? these are the main uses and uh, with the coir no will not make clothes at all okay and mainly making these robes and mats, mat also, door mats and uh, brushes and uh, shuffling of mattress and pillow, pillow and mattress, mattress inside also using this square, that's only. 
नेक्स्ट वन हेम्ब हेम्ब इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द स्टेम ऑफ द हेम्ब प्लान इट इज यूज टू मेक रोब्स कैरपेट्स नेट एंड क्लॉथ्स विथ हेम यूसिंग दिस दैट ऑल्सो वन काइंड ऑफ प्लांट्स जनरली रोब्स कैरपेट्स एंड नेट एंड क्लॉथ्स ऑल्सो मेकिंग विथ दिस हेम्ब नेक्स्ट वन फ्लैक्स linen fabric is made from the uh, fiber obtained from the stem of the uh, flax plant from this flax plant it's uh, uh, what making linen uh, one kind of fibers okay it is used in the production of robes and high quality uh, papers it is used in the production of robes generally using it for the linen using for this uh, uh, robes and high quality papers also making with this uh, linen uh, flax next one synthetic fibers now up to now we learned this uh, natural fibers okay now synthetic fibers first one nylon it is synthetic fibers introduced in uh, 1938 when nylon uh, stockings first appeared it is quite strong yet weightless than any other uh, commonly used fiber nylon fiber is smooth uh, non absorbent durable and uh, uh, dries quickly it is uh, elastic and uh, uh, resilient and so need so needs no ironing ironings and uh, nylon melts at the high temperature nylon is very strong thread okay and making generally making uh, rope sand roll okay and many other products also are there and uh, it's very smooth also and uh, flexible also quickly washable and elasticity is there and very flexible and only one problem nylon melt at a high temperature in high temperature it will melt that's only when the temperature jada hone se to pigal jayega next one acrylic acrylic it is used in making clothes and carpets hmm? acrylic is used to make uh, uh, clothes and uh, carpets it is uh, lightweight and warm it is very similar to wool it is lightweight warm and similar to wool just okay next one polyester it is synthetic fiber produced uh, chiefly by reaction of uh, dibasic acids with dihydric alcohols hmm? uh, this polyester is uh, a synthetic fiber produced chiefly chiefly means uh, very uh, cost is very less and how it is producing by reaction of Uh, diabasic hmm? diabasic acids with dihydric alcohol hmm? the uh, reaction of uh, diabasic acids and uh, dihydric alcohol with together this making what a uh, polyester it is a strong fiber resistance to uh, crease and thus keep its shape it's very strong and uh, uh, it's key, uh, keep its shape always uh, means uh, easy to uh, make shapes and all polyester is strong light and uh, weather resistant polyester is strong uh, light and uh, weather resistant in climate or any climate we can use it hmm? and uh, uh, if we will not iron also it will be very uh, shining okay that's only okay this uh, lesson completed all of you read the textbook very nicely two three times read it okay okay next day we will give question answers and all okay then bye